good afternoon, happy Tuesday to you. Welcome to today's Facebook Live from the Paper Haven. I hope you are all well. I'm just going to check that this is working on my laptop. Yep, I'm there, I can see myself. Um, so welcome on this sunny Tuesday afternoon in June. Mm, rhymes. Um, it's absolutely boiling in here today. I've got my dungarees on. Um, and maybe should have worn a nice cotton skirt or something today. But anyway, I'm going to turn the camera around and see if anybody is on. Let me just unplug. I'm actually trying to charge my phone up at the same time because I'm on a low battery. Ah, there we go. There we go. Hopefully that's okay and I can charge my phone up as well. Right, stop swaying now. Okay, <laughs> so please do say hello if you are on. Um, let me just see the comments. Right, let's move that up because you can see my tummy. Right. Okay, hi Sarah. I've just seen that you've WhatsApped me, so I'll answer when I've finished. Hi Marjorie. I need to move that down, don't I? I need to move that up. Just have a little drink because I'm absolutely boiling. I might have mentioned it once. Good morning, Susan. You must be in the USA or Canada if it's morning. Right, so today, um, I'm not expecting many people on this afternoon because it's absolutely glorious and I shall be going home soon because I've been here since quarter past eight this morning. Um, I thought that I would have a go with um, this suite and I've not even opened it, I've not even looked at it, um, so I thought, right, let's have a go with it, let's see what we can do. And I have got a quarter of a pack of the papers here which were from my paper share. So these are speciality papers and um, they are 14 pounds. You get 12 sheets of 12 by 12. They've got gorgeous gold foiling in them. Yeah. And this is something that's probably a little bit out of my comfort zone, probably, I would say. I love that though. Um, but this is my favorite one. I love that one. So I thought I'd have a go with them. I thought I'd have a go with this. I've just realised I've left my trimmer over there. I thought I'd got everything out. So this is the, the picture that's on the front cover. Yeah. So this is the um, front cover. It's the cover girl or cover guy. Uh, it's the cover bundle, suite, whatever you want to call it. Um, and coordinates with quite a lot of colours. Heavy on the greens, heavy on the greens. So if we go from right to left, we've got evening evergreen. We tell you up here, you see what colours work with it. Shaded spruce, just jade, pear pizzazz, pale papaya and polished pink. So one, two, three of them and a new in colours. Okay, this one is another in colour that we've already had for just over a year. Um, so lots of my customers who've done coffee and cards in the past with me have got shaded spruce and um, have got pear pizzazz from past coffee and cards. Right, I've grabbed my trimmer. And, um, oh, I've got nine of you on now. And let's have a look at the stamps and the dies. And just let's look at the, so this is the stamp set. And this is shown at full scale. So it's got a nice happy birthday in it. And a, a nice thanks, a hello and a best wishes. And then it's got, it's a red rubber stamp. And it's got these inky, splodgy stamps, some leaves flowers, little, these are useful, little dots, um, 
and obviously it's very artistically inked which is why it's called what it's called and the dies I've not even opened Marty Juliet. so let's see what you get in the dies I am thinking of doing a class with this well I'm not thinking of I'm planning on um, oh look at these so you get this lovely leaf one you get this gorgeous one and then this one coordinates with this this one coordinates with this so these match these cut the leaves out so very nice very nice and then also as part of the suite as well as the papers you can get this and I can never say this word so I'm going to call it accessory pack but I think it's Emphemera. It's spelled E-P-H-E-M-E-R-A. -E -E Emphemera. I think that's how you say it. Um, and this has in it, and this is all part of the suite. And you can order this individually as well. It's got these gold accessories and it's got lots of tissue paper in between so it, it, you can keep them nice and pristine so it's got quite a few of these actually mm. lovely 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 so that's like some um die cuts and stuff so I've just i'm gonna just let me look at the let me look at it in the catalog you are quiet on me today I can see nine of you watching, but you're all quiet on me this afternoon. Right, let me find it in here. Here we are. So it's on page 141. And you get five sheets with ten pieces on, so they're all the same. And then you get 100 adhesive back sequins. Do you know, I could split that. I could split that for a class. That would be dead easy to do. Oh, I've got my thinking cap on now. Right. So, should we do a little card? Um, what I'm going to do is, this is an idea as well for my, um, for my paper share ladies. Because one of the designs has this um, pattern down the middle. Let me see if I can show you it in here. I don't know if you see the full piece of paper in here. You can, it's the top one. It, it, it goes all down the middle so there's a lot of white space. So when I was cutting them, I was sort of aware that, that that's down there. And I thought what I might do is cut some off and just stamp a sentiment just use it um really i should cut it like that to make the most out of it um let's do a really really simple card and what I've done is I've got my scraps box at the side of me because I don't know about you but I need to use my scraps more um, so I'm just going to try and find some scrap shaded spruce please um, leave me a comment on what you think of this suite if you're watching wouldn't you know it I bet I've got no shaded spruce scrap hmm. Of all the scraps I've got, I don't have the one I need. Well, I do, but it's not big enough. Right. Okay. Let's see if the pair will work. So I can see a piece of pear pizzazz here. It will, but I think the shaded might look nicer. So let me... Oh, why is it ended? It's not ended. Oh. 
It said my live video had ended then. That's not good. Hi, Kath. Hi, Ashan. I just saw that you were watching. I don't know why it said it had ended on there. Maybe that's why I'm not getting many comments. Anyway, we'll keep going. We shall keep going. So I've got some um I've got some shaded spruce out. Yeah, they're lovely colours, Sarah. So I'm just gonna basically cut a layer. Someone's giving me loads of loves now. <laughs> okay. And I'm just gonna do a really, really simple card. Because sometimes we just need, don't we, something so super quick, super, super quick. To send out. And I've found a white card blank. So I'm going to do a really, really simple um, card here. And I'm just going to take the shaded spruce ink pad. To coordinate with the back, background card and I'm going to oh do I do a happy birthday or do we do the thanks I'm going to see what fits on best actually it cut out then come back on yeah oh well never mind we're on oh that does fit there so well let's have a happy birthday because you know we always need those stamps shall I show you how to put the stickers on the back I do have a video on my um YouTube, but if you get these ones that are red rubber, you get these stickers. So look for the side that's a bit shinier and fold it, and you will find that the stickers got like a, a split. Then take the backing off your stamp, and it should be the exact size of the aperture. And then pop it in. I've done that a bit wrong, but never mind. I was a little bit off, but that's all right. And then it's got happy birthday on the back. So I always have a practice on my grid paper. Yeah. There's nothing to stop me stamping actually over the... Um, pattern there is there nothing to stop me at all do you know what I'm going to make it the most simple card ever and just use the paper where's my glue gone I have it out from this morning oh, hang on oh it's there I got it. Yep, Deanne, yeah, I'll do it as a, a parcel in the post. Hi, Sana. I've not seen you on before. So that's just going to go like that. And that's just going to go on there like that. And there we have a really simple card. You could use some of the sequins, actually, just to... Um, Start it up a bit. Oh, I know what would look nice. Because these are a bit, it's a bit goldy. I'm thinking the champagne rhinestones that I used in the peaches past in the post would go nice on there. But I've not got those to hand. So I, I think I will add those on after. Oh, you've stumbled upon me. Well, I, I, I do wear glasses and sometimes... I can see my eyesight changing all the time and had to I had to um 
look forward and make sure that it was an A and not an E because sometimes my I get my letters mixed up with my eyesight. Um, so welcome Zana and um, where are you from? Where are you watching from? And thank you for joining us. So that's just a really simple card. If you're if you don't watch this live, I always repeat this on YouTube. I add this video to YouTube. Um, okay, so that was a simple one. And what I'm going to do is now, I think I'll go for a peachy one. Norfolk. Oh, we're talking about Norfolk the other day, actually, with my partner, Craig, because um, we go cycling quite a bit on the canal near us and we keep seeing these houseboats and we fancy... Um, a little holiday, little holiday, maybe on the Norfolk Broads one time. Right, I'm going to cut this at 9.5 by 13.8. Probably going to waste a bit of paper here, but I want to show you um, these new dies that I've not used yet. These are a hidden gem in the catalogue. There's actually quite a few dies that are hidden gems, and they're called the Basic Borders dies. And um, yeah, Sarah can't get away from me now, Zana. <laughs> and um, oh, I don't know which one to use. So it's these six borders, different borders. I think I'll go for this one. And what they do is they cut, yeah, they cut like a, a border. That's why they're called basic borders, Julie. So, I'm going to cut some cardstock, this basic white, and I'm going to cut it the same width, 13.8. And what I'm going to do, in fact, I might do two at once. I might try and cheat this, because it's wider than what I need. So, I might put two on the... Um, oh, hi, Carol. I might put two on here and see if I can get it to work. So I'm going to do one. I only, want, I only want a little border. One like that. Okay. Yeah, maybe not this year, Sana, but we'll do it. We will do it another time. And I'll do one. Okay, so can you see what I'm doing there? I've put two on. Yeah. I hope I've got them straight. Hi, Linda. Hey, you've got 12 on this afternoon. Woohoo! So, I do need to get myself some... Oh, I've ordered some new plates, actually, so I should really get those out and get cracking with those. Um, right. Oops. Okay, so what I thought I would do is a little card, just like this, yeah? Hmm, be nice that way, actually. Um, Just making it up as I go along but that's okay isn't it that's, what, that's why I do this to show you so I'm gonna cut this one 10 by 14.3 so it's it's half a centimetre bigger than the other one the other pieces and then I'm gonna cut I'm gonna have the card and I'm gonna because this is I'm trying to use my scraps and not break into some new sheets so I've cut this and I'm going to have it opening the other way. So it is like a tent fold card, but I'm going to have it stood up. So it opens like a book. Yeah. Oh, thanks, Linda. Thanks um, for watching as well. I'm trying to build up my YouTube channel. Craig's been helping me 
on it with the hashtags and the search engine optimization thing. Yeah, Zana, I do classes on YouTube if you want to um, follow me on there. I'm on the, um, the Paper Haven on YouTube. Right, so I think this is what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to stick all these together. I just want you to do some easy cards today because it's far too warm to do anything taxing. I've been um, I've been putting together my in colour shares today, and I've also entered the heady heights of TikTok on my son's both my son's advice. So I've done my first TikTok video me packing my kits <laughs> which is quite scary I've only got two followers <laughs> I've got much, many more on Instagram and YouTube so it's just something new to try got to keep up with the kids with the young folks get those young younger crafters that on there and then I'm going to add a little border like that yeah and I think I'll just have a nice sentiment just shows off the papers this one yeah probably just do I maybe should have made the white bit a bit a bit bigger but I didn't want to waste card um, waste paper I mean hey Linda oh what time is it in Southern California I dread to think right. oh man I've only got seven percent on my laptop now got my phone charging which is now zapping my laptop so I think my phone's got enough charge so let's take that out of charging and then hopefully my laptop will last <laughs> I don't know I have brought my laptop charger oh what a lovely stamp that is do with something there like a flower or something we'll see right let us cut out from some scrapola one of the oh, I've got some scrap here that should work fine 5.55 oh mind you Craig's been awake since that time this morning oh this is a bit big though mm. I was going to put well we can see let's cut one out and see let's see what it looks like this is rather large and it's going to take me ages to poke all those bits out oh look at that it's going to take over the whole card so we won't use that eh right we'll maybe leave it as a simple card 
here because it's going to take me forever to cut that out. Right, let's leave it as a simple make. I could use a butterfly, you know, from the Butterfly Brilliance cut out. That would look nice. Um, I should have thought and got organised. But anyway, that's a simple card. Let's do simple today. Simple, simple. Look, two simple cards. Let's do another one. And this time, let's use this piece, yeah? So we'll, we'll say this is, um, today we'll say it's simple cards with the expressions in ink. to cut that off because I realised it's longer than um, this is how we do it I'm singing that because I've been that's from my video right let us oh, I know what I can do with this I know what I can do with this not got enough of that left so we could use this yeah maybe anyway let's glue this on i'm gonna have to trim it off so because it's a wee bit longer than the paper Hope you're going to be watching Linda on uh, Thursday night for our one year craft and piano anniversary. Hope you can tune in. Okay, so I've just added that. I don't know whether to do it that way now again. Decisions, decisions. I think I might um, use a die cut or a punch, actually. Let's do a bow. So this is the ribbon that's included in the peachy parcel in the post. It's part of the new in colour ribbon. And it's included in... Oh, hi, Cindy! And it's also included in the in colour share as well. Oops. Oof, there's ribbon everywhere. Trying to decide, yeah. I think I might go for it as a portrait card. And pop a, that's too big that bow. Let 
you just grab an air punch. Trying to decide which one will work best. Oh, and I'm on 5% battery, so I'm going to make this my last card. Let's see what this looks like. In fact, let's punch one of each. Yeah, be safe, Cindy. I don't know if that's not the right. That's too big. Mm, right, so let's see if this looks all right. Oh, man. You see... This is um, a struggle for me this week. Well, it's not a struggle, but some things like the peaches, I just know exactly what I want to do with them. Yeah? I don't really have to think about the designs. Whereas this, it's making me go outside my comfort zone. And I know what I'm going to end up doing now. I'm going to end up that there and having it like that and then I could have that on there. Yeah let's see what that's like. Shaded spruce, oh it's here, it's right here, right next to me. Right, I've got plenty of room, so I'll cut that off. Pop it in the punch again. So I do like these banner punches. So I've cut this to one inch, so it's the widest width that goes in. A little bit wonky, but it's a handmade card. I'm not so sure it's my finest work, but I'm doing simple. Simple, simple, simple stamping. Let's find some dimensionals. And then I can charge my laptop up. You're a little bit wonky, Linda. behind this. Yeah. Let's 
see what we've got. Let's see what looks good. Let's have a vote. I'm thinking, yes. got such gorgeous papers really you don't need to do um, such difficult designs let the let the papers do the work let the stamping up designers um, do the work for us yeah Okay, I just need a card base now. Let me see what I have got available. Oh, that's not gonna, that's too much. It needs to be a white one, I think. Thing, right let's see what this size this is that's going to be another opening one like that Oh, they're not, they're not my finest work, but I'm doing simples today because I'm too hot, too hot and bothered. Uh, and I'm going to add some little gems on afterwards. I'm glad I've used the basic borders. Right. What time? Oh, it's 10 past. I normally do 45 minutes, so I've nearly done. I've done 40. Um, so let me just clear this away and show you what I've done and the products that I've used. Um, they're all cards going that way. Landscape. In fact, let's put that one in the middle because then the two white ones. Thank you. They're not. They're not really. Um, they're in order of when I've made them. They're not really going to uh, win awards. But you know, sometimes we need a quick card and sometimes we need a simple card and let the papers do the work. So that's what um that's what we've done today. Um oh thanks Sarah. So I'll get this video uploaded to YouTube this afternoon. Um so if you missed me, you can watch on there. And if you have any questions, then please give me a shout about the products. And Diane, I will look to do it as a parcel in the post very soon. Um, no, thank you, Cindy, for tuning in and hope to see you guys on Thursday evening for our year anniversary of Paper Crafts and Piano, 7.30 on Thursday. Um, we may have a special guest again with us. Um, so yeah, hope I can see, we can see you there and have a lovely Tuesday. Take care, keep safe. Bye.